Denise Nelson, Systems and Services Manager in the Facilities Directorate and I'm responsible for the Customer Services team as well as the uh, University Vehicle Fleet. Six years ago after a restructure I took on responsibility for the uh, Vehicle Fleet. Um, at that point we went to uh, the University's um, governing body to say that we needed one group that was representing the whole of the university and, and there was born the uh, transport and vehicle group where he's represented by uh, everyone that has a vehicle operating across the campus. We then looked at how our fleet actually moved forward and started to take advantage of uh, different types of fuels and we became involved with uh, a pilot for hydrogen um, vehicles and I remember going to the advanced manufacturing park and being stood under a wind turbine and it, it sort of changed my whole view on things, the sort of size of this thing and I was underneath it and this was generating energy and I became quite interested then in the whole thing about fuel. The university did actually pilot um, two converted diesel vans that had been converted to hydrogen fuel and gave feedback to the teams um, at the Advanced Manufacturing Park. Uh, we also entered into um, a case study on a small car with the University of Coventry and we gave feedback on our experiences with that and, and as far as I'm aware, you know, the, that feedback is helping to develop the future of hydrogen vehicles. We applied for some funding through the sustainability team uh, to get our first two electric vehicles and it was quite a learning curve for all of us because we'd not had electric vehicles in the fleet before, they were very quiet, but they were, they were nice, they were well equipped. The company that, that, that we procured those through was very knowledgeable about the electric fleet and um, they were a hit with staff because they were a different type of vehicle to what they'd had before, they were a little bit larger, they worked quite differently and we sort of embraced the whole electric thing. Our print unit did all the livery for them, we got a new design that was specific to Sheffield Hallam to promote the fact that you know we were now using electric vehicles as far as I'm aware you know that they're more used than the other types of vehicles that we have. We equipped our site with the relevant charging procedures and now we're coming to another period of the contracts whereby some of the vehicles that we've got that are traditionally diesel and petrol are going back. We've just ordered two more electric vehicles which means we'll have four in the fleet. Uh, early next year there will be another two and they will all be of a, a certain type so that we can promote the fact that Sheffield Hallam is serious about its, its carbon targets. Hi, I'm Katie Stead. I'm the Sustainability and Energy Strategy Manager. There's nothing that's too big a challenge for Denise to take on. I've worked with her closely for the last two years since joining the university, specifically around the work she's doing with our fleet, from things like managing incidents and our insurance liabilities, to how much fuel they use to do their daily jobs, um, to how we train the drivers um, that use the vehicles so they're competent and can carry out their duties safely. And she's really just pushing the way we do things at the university, do things differently um, for the betterment of the environment. I was really pleased um, off Denise's own back. She's spent a lot of time this last 12 months applying for the EcoStars Award and Accreditation. And we've successfully achieved four out of the available five stars in recognition of just how well Denise is managing our fleet. Very fortunate that we, we got four stars. Um, very pleased, I really wanted five, but we got four. So it was at that point through the Transport and Vehicle Group that we came up with a working group to actually get us to five stars. We now have a working plan of improvements we want to make to actually get us to five stars. And, and one of those issues is to, um, to, to come up with a, a driver guide so that our drivers are fully equipped, they're you know, fully assessed, they're competent to be on the road, and some protocols around accidents and uh, vehicle usage and um, dash cams is something else that we've, that we've sort of moved towards, which is quite a change in culture for our drivers. Um, but already those dash cams have proved their worth. We, we had quite a serious accident, which is, you know, it takes all the stress out of the accident because, you know, it's all there um, and it's all recorded. So, you know, the way we're looking at our fleet is to be a tool to work 
across the site with competent, efficient drivers and to ensure that um, you know, we, we move towards you know, being a five-star fleet. All of the university vans are fitted with trackers which record mileage. This mileage data provides real-time figures which can be used to assess the fleet. Each month this data is also used to calculate the emissions resulting from the activities using the vans across the university. The emissions resulting from using shoe vehicles has fallen by 27% per vehicle. This drop in emissions per vehicle has been helped by not only introducing the low carbon and electric vans, but also through the management approach. Assessing the usage of the fleet itself and undertaking actions such as swapping larger vans for smaller where they are impractical and including efficient driving on the mandatory driving courses has contributed to this reduction. As a result of these management decisions, the mileage covered by the fleet has dropped by 10.5% since the baseline year and the miles per gallon have improved by almost 11%. Through continuing these practices and introducing more electric vans permanently into the fleet, the university is projected to achieve a further 3.8 tonnes CO2 reduction, a lot closer to achieving our 2020 target of 25%. Sheffield Hallam is an urban university and one of the things that we have to think about is the ways in which we contribute to Sheffield as a successful urban environment. If we can make significant contributions to improving air quality as we manage our fleet, that puts us in a really strong position to shape the future of the city, particularly in the context of government's decision to phase out petrol and diesel cars by, by 2040. This is a small step, but it's a really important and significant step for the university. I'm really pleased that Sheffield Hallam has been shortlisted for four Green Gown Awards. The impacts that universities have, not just on their students, but on the cities and the regions in which they're located, is very important. We should lead locally, and it's really important and really gratifying to see that there's clear evidence that that's having an impact on the city in ways that are long-term sustainable.